Today is October 2nd, working on the farmhouse. The first thing I did today is I chipped off um, the remainder of this chimney liner that was sticking out. Um, and then I filmed around where it was meeting where it was meeting the siding and then I stuck some uh, foil tape on it. This is really nice. It's kind of a rubbery but uh, foily. Um, very sticky tape. So that way if later on someone decides to stick a chimney pipe in here, they will be able to easily just um, find it and cut around it. I didn't want to put a plywood, that would have been harder to uh, cut out if they need to use it again. And then of course we're gonna insulate regular way behind this. The other things I did is getting ready for the drywall is adding a corner here in the kitchen and the drywall has enough space to go this way and get screwed in here but the drywall that was coming from here originally I wanted to have it just slide in but then I realized there's nowhere to really screw it so I added some lips here just for that purpose so it can it can be screwed in there and the third thing I've done today is shave down this chimney pole so the drywall can go on it without any problem it was sticking out too much and just some odds and ends um, spraying some more of the fire blocker. Uh, I couldn't find the foam anymore. We ran out and then I used this caulk type of material that's supposed to be for fire blocking but I really don't like it so I still need to take care of a couple of bigger holes here like uh, the one for the pipes. There are couple of big ones here that I need to foam so I'm gonna go and look for it and get some more foam because this caulky thing is not really good. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna get ready to do is replacing this window. I already got the replacement window. This is actually a standard size 28 by 54 that uh, Home Depot carries and I was kind of kind of nervous about it if it's gonna fit but just looking at what the existing opening should be I think I'm gonna be okay I was worried that um, my opening is too small lengthwise it says 53 and a half actually my opening is exactly 53 and a half lengthwise so definitely yeah replacing this one we have to replace it because I don't know what they did to this but basically this part of the window is too big and there's no way to lock it i mean there's like an inch difference between uh, the locks meeting and the same thing happened on the top floor above it you can tell that these are different windows from the rest and these are the ones that we have everywhere else. The one with the one lock versus this one has two locks. So the one that I got also has one lock. So definitely this is the proper one. I, th I think they, they put in a window that was just way too big, which is silly. Okay, so I'm gonna be back tomorrow to do that window. I also ordered a new window for the bathroom. It's gonna be just like this, what I have in the kitchen that I replaced. Um, same size, but because it's a special order, it will take a couple of weeks at least. So I think we're looking good. Uh, we started installation upstairs. 
didn't get a whole lot done, but I had two short sessions of insulation. So the master bedroom is done. Well, the walls are. I still have to do the ones uh, over the eaves and the ceiling. And then we started the guest bedroom and the bathroom. So there's definitely progress. See you next time.